Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how I tune my chromatic harmonicas these days and uh, this is uh, SCX48 uh, 12-hole chromatic in the key of C and this is my old trusty iPad from 2012 and I'm also using this, this is a Dremel tool and this is kind of new for me but I really enjoy uh, using it so it's a rotary tool uh, but it's not so big and not so strong and uh, I'm having it's like a, I think it's some kind of rubber polishing wheel here so I'm not having like a grinder thing that makes a scar to the reed this one is more polishing the reed and I am tuning to 442 because I like that and um, yeah I have tuned the the upper plate here now I will go for the lower so my process is like this, I take a note, you see, B flat is a little bit sharp, but is it me or is it, I mean, watch my air pressures change. So you can like change the pitch of a reed a lot with the mouth. So the harmonica is an intonation instrument. People often forget that, but that's the truth. But I would say this B flat is a little bit, a little bit sharp, very little, like two cents. And I will put the shim under, and I will touch it here. That might be two, that's my two cents. I mean, this note is almost in the range where I will let it pass and go on, but there I will stop. Now I will take the octave that one is a bit sharp, but how does the octave sound? Whoa, 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 whoa. So let's lower that high B flat and it's here. And then, yeah, find a nice way to hold the things. And what I like about this tool is that it really polishes. It doesn't doesn't sound like a file, it kind of makes a nice big fat tuning mark. And I've been using this one the last few months with very good results. Whoops! I went too far! So, if I raise the pitch, then I take off material at the top of the reed. Oops, shim fell out, not good. But let's see. I would say that note is good there. Another octave, a bit high, but I like that note high. So I will not raise it right now actually. That B flat is still a bit flat. I went too far. Come up again. And I don't want to spend too much time on the same reed when I'm using a electric rotary tool because the reed will get a bit warm and that feels bad. So I try to, I tune like quick and then I move on to another read. So I don't, I don't stay on that read for 10 minutes. I like. I mean, 
I will I will move on and then go back actually. But that's how I tune the draw reads and now tuning the blow reads. I always open up the harmonica. Uh, some people like to push in like a tool and move the valve and you know tune so they push up the reed from here and then tune when the harmonica is mounted but I don't like that. I always damage the valves <laughs> that way. So let's take apart this harmonica or we could check a few notes first. Let's see the C on the blow side and uh, C here and uh, G. Let's check those three notes. I would say that the G, the low C and the G is a bit too sharp. Just a little, little bit. So you just take your screwdriver. And now, voila, here is the upper reed plate, and this is when tuning cross-tuned chromatics, it's really <laughs> a game, a challenge in the beginning to find the right reed, but if you're just careful and take your time, you will do it. So here is a, the C, G and C. That one I felt was good, this was a little bit too high. So, let's take it down. And I also use files, but I really enjoy using this rotary tool, so... Tuning has like become fun again. <laughs> sometimes I hate tuning my harmonicas, and sometimes I really enjoy it. Bingo! Let's move on. Let's take the octave G. Too high. There you can really hear one note is too high. This one is really high compared to this one. So the octave is one 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 one. And no. Oh, and when tuning, I almost damaged the valve there. And when tuning blow reeds, don't spend too much time on the same reed because then the condensation will get on the reed and on the valve and all things. So, you see, tuning with this tool is quick and fast. Let's see now. <clears throat> better but it should go down a bit more and as I said in the beginning I often have like a one two cent marginal actually depends on the octave but yeah it's starting to come and sound good and here I often kind of wipe off the condensation with my thumb You see, just one touch and then you're good. And I really like this feeling of polishing up. Poly, kind of not, yeah. Two cents, who can hear a difference between two cents, one or two cents on stage when there is other instruments, reverbs, compression, EQ, etc. I don't know, <clears throat> but if I try to make everything zero in the tuning on this little thing here, I go crazy. So that's why I think I, I often leave one or two cents. That sounds pretty good. Doesn't sound so good because this one is too high, but I like that. And I don't play octaves up there, so 
yeah, why, why spend hours on that? I will do one more touch. And this is how I tune. And now I think it's good. I would leave that G now. Okay, I can. How does the A sound? They are a bit too sharp, actually. Yeah. But anyway, this is how I tune my harmonicas these days using this rotary tool, a chim, and the tuner. This is the Ice Robosoft, and I set it to 442. And I always take off the reeds for blow notes and I tune fast on the reeds and I move on and then I go back because that's, I think that's how the reeds, I don't know, for me that works better. They feel better and I feel better and it doesn't end up becoming so much condensation. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and bye bye.